On a hot July 4th morning in Richmond, a few hundred people gathered near the Capitol for a gun rights rally. I said, I got my boys here in the Hawaiian shirts, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and everybody knows what that means. Hey, officers, that means boogaloo. Hell yeah. Many in the crowd, like Mike Dunn, one of the rally organizers, are part of the Boogaloo Boys. Boogaloo is code for civil war, and that's the core goal of this loosely organized anti-government movement. A lot of people believe differently about the Boogaloos, but the core belief is the fact that we stand for freedom, individual freedom of all, and we're willing to defend anyone's rights to those freedoms. Would you say that the Boogaloo movement is a more extreme version of militia groups? I think someone saying that we're extreme or saying someone else is extreme is all based on whoever's going to watch this or listen to this. They have to make their own decision. I'm not going to sit here and say we're extremists. But the Boogaloo ideology itself takes inspiration from some pretty extreme events, like the Ruby Ridge siege in 1992 and Waco, Texas in 1993, both deadly standoffs between federal agents and anti-government extremists. The movement started earlier this year on social media, drawing in followers that ranged from hardline libertarians and online shit posters to white supremacist militiamen. Then in May, the Boogaloo jumped into the real world when armed men in Hawaiian shirts protested lockdown orders in Michigan, Texas, and North Carolina. The Black Lives Matter protests gave the Boogaloo another excuse to move from the internet to the streets. White supremacy sucks! White supremacy sucks! The movement has been accused of exploiting the Black Lives Matter protests, but Dunn and his crew went out of their way to present themselves as allies. But not everyone's buying it. This is privilege at its fine. When you can stand anywhere you want, with all kinds of ammo and weapons, and nobody says anything and nobody cares, that's your privilege. The Richmond rally was mostly peaceful. However, the Boogaloos have come under increased scrutiny after a number of recent arrests. In May, three supporters were arrested in Las Vegas for conspiring to throw Molotov cocktails into a crowd of Black Lives Matter protesters. They were allegedly trying to spark a standoff with the police. And around that same time, an Air Force staff sergeant allegedly gunned down federal courthouse security guards in Oakland, killing one. Investigators say that they found the word Boog scrawled in blood on his van. All of the men have pleaded not guilty. These real life examples echo the Boogaloo's violent online messaging. And the movement has resonated on TikTok, where videos with the Boogaloo hashtag have over 2 million views. And last week, Facebook kicked off the Boogaloo's scrubbing the platform of hundreds of pages and labeling them a, quote, dangerous organization. The move came months after a report for the Tech Transparency Project warned that tens of thousands of Facebook users were visiting Boogaloo pages to share bomb-making recipes and weapons expertise. Katie Paul has been tracking the Boogaloo online. Prior to Facebook labeling this as a dangerous organization, the Boogaloo movement already had all of the hallmarks of, of a classic extremist movement and was violating multiple community standards in Facebook's dangerous individuals and organizations policy. Facebook labeling them as such really just seems like a cosmetic change on the company's part because these individuals were already violating policies and those policies were not being enforced. The same day that Facebook did its sweep and removed a lot of the, the more obvious groups that had Boogaloo related terminology in the name, um, we missed quite a few. And in missing those, it still allowed those individuals to create new groups. They've already created several new groups with even more innocuous names that, that make it more difficult for the platform to track them. The Boogaloo Boys say that they want civil war, but they don't really have a unified plan and it's often hard to know what's just talk versus what's threats of actual violence. But they are on the government's radar. Homeland Security has repeatedly warned that they could exploit protests. And a new DOJ task force on anti-government extremism singled out the Boogaloos as an emergent threat. From sea to shining sea. 